Hi Denise. Hi Christina. And welcome. Thank you for being here and uh, answering some questions about yourself and uh, your art. So first of all, could you just describe exactly um, what you do and um, what your art is like? Well, mostly I went from drawing uh, bodies to make them in clay and that was my first approach to clay. Mm -hmm. But then I, f I found this material so extraordinary that I began to use it only uh, to express myself and I didn't use any more the paper. Uh, because I think you can, in three dimension, you can really um, give every emotions and every um, direction you want the people go when they, they look one of your statues. Mm -hmm. So that my, that's my main concern, going uh, with the, this clay, very simple, only fired, mostly no color. Mm -hmm. and. I think that's one of the first material human used mm -hmm. uh, since ever. So I feel very connected to to the to the to the ground, to the earth, doing working with the clay. Mm -hmm. I think it takes all your uh, give you so much strength mm -hmm. when you use that. Mm -hmm. And where do you take your inspiration for your clay sculptures from? From human being, just around myself, uh, looking what's going on. Uh, sometimes might be the the social problems. Sometimes might be just uh, a beautiful human body. Sometimes it can be a smile. Sometimes it can be tears. Uh, all kind of emotions, and mm -hmm. uh, that's my last team, just working with emotion. Okay. and trying to to reveal these emotion uh, with clay. Mm -hmm. Was there a specific uh, point in time or when you knew that you wanted to be an artist? I think I always wanted to be an artist. That's mm -hmm. not something who just appeared uh, after a few years. I always wanted to to make an art school, I didn't. I made my art school. I wasn't not working with clay at all, but uh, I always had this uh, feeling. I need to express myself, mm -hmm. drawings, paintings, uh, any any kind of expression. Mm -hmm. That was something I always had to use. Okay, great. Can you tell me something about your creative journey and development that maybe most people wouldn't know? I don't know exactly what I can tell you. <laughs> um, no, I, I nothing comes in my mind now. Okay. So maybe a little bit later. Perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Or well, did you have any um, situations when when you were younger where you know I don't know you were on some vacation oh, or something? Oh yes. That shaped that's that's the story you want me to tell you. <laughs> That's when I was, uh, I don't remember, um, eight or nine or something like that, or perhaps or ten. And I was on holiday with my parents in Italy. And uh, on the, the sand was beautiful. And I made my first sculpture there with the sand. But I made the, a human woman laying down on the sand. And, uh, well, next morning it disappeared because there was the the sea went over, <laughs> but it was quite nice, what I remember. Yeah. Now, nobody took pictures, so uh, it's only in my, in my rem memory. Yeah, so basically your first sculpture was pretty much at the age of nine or ten yeah, years old. Yeah, something, something okay. like that. <laughs> Fantastic. And um, how would you describe yourself as an artist or as a person? How do you like to work? Um, I like to work uh, with others. I like to have other people around working. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. I'm not uh, the artist who is uh, in a room and closed and have to be alone and 
uh, that's not the. If I, I I need to have interaction with okay. other people, this is something I I I had a I had a studio alone, but I I began to do very depressing uh, pieces because it's. I think I was turning too much in my head. Okay. So uh, I I need sometimes to yeah. to have a human reaction. So it myself. sounds like also your mu your mood and how you personally feel is oh. very much expressed. Yes. In well, I think all artists are expressing themselves also sure. in what they are creating. Yeah. Uh, it's quite obvious I think that you your creations are reflecting also what you are of course otherwise uh, why making any creation yeah. <laughs> no absolutely right so is there anything that you want to communicate or impact uh, with your works is, is there a message because I've noticed especially in your latest series um, it's a lot of uh, very strong Females expressing emotions. That's for sure because I think um, it's something uh, women always had to hide the the emotions. They always had to put them a little bit down that uh, that they don't shock around. And uh, I think it's uh, it's so important that we can express ourselves. Yeah. In bad and good, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. Uh, Oh, that's it. Very interesting. And uh, at the moment you're part of the Unchained Art International Art Exhibition where you are showcasing your latest series, Emotions. Can you describe what Unchained Art means for you? Well, it means something great because it's suddenly uh, a place where I can uh, uh, show my, my statues and also meet other people who are part of this exhibition and uh, I think it's uh, it's very um, how you say that in, in English um, gratifying ah, gra gratifying gratifying, yes. gratifying. Yeah. And satisfactory yeah. yeah exactly and uh, I think I, I uh, my feelings are, are going up <laughs> makes me feel a lot of energy again. Yeah, great. I think it's great. Okay, super. Um, I have a couple more uh, questions for you. You mentioned earlier, earlier that uh, you started drawing and it's true that you had uh, classes on a new drawing yes. at one point. Yes, okay. academic drawing with models and uh, yes. Oh great. I had a, I had classes once or twice a week in the evening mm -hmm. for grown-ups okay. because I gave uh, courses also in school for drawing, mm -hmm. drawing classes and I thought it's not very... I didn't like it so much because um, there's only one or two kids who loves to, to, to do the other ones they just are there because they have to <laughs> and that's not fun at all so <laughs> I love to give... I loved to give classes to uh, grown-ups mm -hmm. who choose to do that. Yeah. And that was great. Love it. Okay. And uh, one last question. So when I look at your statues, you have a mini statue on top of the statue. Mm -hmm. Could you explain a little bit more what you're trying to, to say or communicate with that? It's just the how you can we say it's in French you say une redondance that means it's uh, something who is telling the same story mm -hmm. but it's a little bit like if you 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 can see what the person who express uh, something uh, feeling uh, is thinking mm -hmm. it's just something very uh, brutal mm -hmm. it's not finished it's not very detailed it's just okay something very like an emotion coming okay. popping up. So it's almost like the incorporation or the embodiment of the, the of raw the emotion exactly. that the statue exactly. expresses. That's exactly okay. right. Because it's a very nice signature <laughs> of, uh, of yourself. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for being here.